good afternoon and uh, there was dust on the thing there uh, today I'm going to show you problems uh, some people have with uh, with uh, hot peppers and I've had them before and I think I've not quite sure why this happens everyone else has their own opinion have you ever seen them going like this like cauliflower now that's an extreme example that one will not recover but for instance here is one here this one is recovering right? This one, I don't think will recover. They're two different varieties. Next door is the real healthy one. Seemingly got the same amount. This is the same variety. These are scorpion, these two bottom rows. The ones up here are pumpkin. Now the pumpkin may have got too much nitrogen in the beginning, start going, start fruiting too early. And them fruit are no good, but it's fruited. Uh, now it's got the cauliflower on the top, but it's coming back. Here's one that recovered. Now it's a bit lighter green, I might put a little bit of uh, nitrogen on it. Uh, the dark leaves here, in the beginning I think they were just too dark. Uh, maybe there was too much in the mix. This one com completely recovered from being... And here, they're nearly all recovered now. You can see that, that was all crunched up before. I'll bring you over here as well. These are all ghost chilies. See this ghost chili here? This was sold on July... 20, I think something like that. Uh, it's more than three foot high, and it's been it's been topped only once. Uh, we have to put a bigger bamboo in it. Uh, I, sh I should have topped it a second time. There's five or six, seven stalks coming out. The reason I don't want to, I need some chilies. I need some fruit. I need some uh, something to eat. So, and they all have flowers coming out on them. These were all sown at the same time. Now, all these are all ghosts. But look, this one got crunched up. And this one got crunched up. This one looks like it has too much, uh, too much no. nitrogen, and this one like it doesn't have enough. But the conclusion I have is they did not get enough water. Most people worry about that they they uh, overwater their chili. Now it's hot here all the time, all year round, right? So these are mine. I'll have m many chilies at Christmas time, and we are we are in winter now we don't really have winter. Here's another variety. These are uh, chocolate. Habanera chocolate, I think. Or Jolica chocolate, I think. I grew one last year and it all crunched up like this. But I managed to get uh, a couple of fruits off it and I grew these five from it. And they start doing the same. But this one is recovering. And this one isn't recovering. Not yet these three out of the five. But this one has actually got flowers on it. So that means I can keep my bread, and they're healthy looking. I put them out in the sun, right? So, over here. These are more ghosts over here. See the ghosts here? These are uh, been well watered. Nice deep pots I got. I bought these pots for about one dollar each. Not them ones, they're my wife's flower one. But I have bigger pots. The ones in the bigger pots are not, these are crunched up. We repotted these into bigger pots. These were all in small pots. So they get dried out much quicker. So that's a small pot still in that one. But this one is recovering. Then I'll take off the... Keep the leaves on till you can uh, so they can uh, do, their, do their business uh, uh, photosynthesis. But once you get the established new leaves, then go. So I'm looking at a bumper crop here of, of Sealy sauce. So you see this is the scorpion, many flowers on it. Uh, this one is, has got, got the cauliflower. It's uh, it's lack of water. It's definitely lack of water. I even start when I started watering them every, some of them every day if they're big, if they're small every two days, depending on the set, the size of the pot. So this is definitely from lack of water. Uh, uh, it's hot here all the time, and we're always trying to be careful. There's a little fruit there on that one. I'm not sure. Uh, there's fruit in there as well, look. Uh, so, uh, uh, wish me... <laughs> wish me luck now. Wish me luck with these, uh, uh, because uh, it's winter, and uh, these giants here... Uh, when I get the first when I get the first fruits off the top of it, then I will cut them back then, and we'll have some early ones after Christmas, and you know, before the hot weather comes in March. When I say hot weather, it's... Uh, it's about 32 degrees here. 
Anyway, thank you very much. Oh, there's, uh, no, there's more ones down here I just saw. These are the small little ones you saw down there, deadly hot. Don't ask me what they are. Uh, they're ready. Almost, I'll, I delayed topping for a bit longer lately because uh, um, I, I just got better results when I let them get more leaves. This one has been eaten. Now, we're wondering is it uh, caterpillars or what? The birds are always here. Only this variety are being eaten. And there's no evidence of anything on the leaves. It could be the birds. The birds are always here. And birds like silly here or chili here. So uh, uh, if you like this uh, video, uh, please don't uh, hesitate to subscribe. Oh, I have some more chilies here, look. What do you think of them? I'm going to eat them later. I think there's no heat in them. They're bought in the supermarket, the seeds. Oh, there's more seed and more flowers there. Maybe give them more sun. And these round ones here, maybe somebody will be able to identify them. Anyway, anyway, so as I said, I've got to let you go now. I have to go back to work. Uh, I'm doing work in the workshop. You know I have another channel, Irish Chippy, and you can see all the woodworking stuff in it. For instance, how to make this and how to make these doors and all that. Uh, I'm doing the stairs at the moment. So, thank you for watching and please subscribe. Say, tell them to subscribe. Say, tell them subscribe. Subscribe. Please. Please. <laughs> oh, what are you drawing? I'm drawing cafe. Oh, you wrote your own name. You're very good for four, yeah? Good. And, and, and oh, that's the cat, is it? The that's, cat, that's the cat. Done. And then? That's, that's, the, that's the cat's face. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching. And uh, uh, if you like, please subscribe.